Hiya, my name's Paul from Direct Plastics. Just want to talk to you about a CETL rod. Okay, it's available in black and white. And a CETL rod is very hard, it's very slippy, uh, machines fantastically well, um, chips, uh, doesn't wrap around your tools, um, it leaves a lovely smooth finish and does very little burrs, etc. Um, it absorbs minimum amounts of moisture, which means it doesn't uh, expand, etc. And also, it's great for food applications. Got some 12 mil diameter acetyl rod just to give you an idea of its flexibility. So that's 12 mil. What I'm going to do is measure some 45 mil diameter rod just to give you an idea of how much oversize it'll be. So that's about a 45.6 oversize. Okay, a couple of downsides um, about acetyl rod is uh, the first one is that it's probably for higher wear applications. You might want to choose nylon because I think it's got the slightly better wear properties um, and also. Acetyl is slightly more expensive. It's only a few percent, but slightly more expensive than nylon. But there you go, uh, acetyl rod.